We continue our team coverage now on the deadly mass shooting in Farmington. As we continue to get more from this investigation, KOET reporter Stephanie Muniz learned more from neighbors and witnesses. Jeff Clark has lived in Farmington for three years. Monday was no ordinary day. It was like, did this really happen? Where did you hear the noise kind of coming from as you walked out here? I could tell it was coming from over here. And as I was trying to check it out, I could see where there's cars in disarray mm -hmm. down here. And what looked like somebody down on the street. He was very deliberate in what he was doing. And this is all within seconds of, mm -hmm. of me trying to, I finally realized, hey, I shouldn't just be hanging out here because he's looking for somebody to shoot. What was your thought process in walking back out? Once I saw him going with intent that way, then I knew I had the opportunity to come back outside and, and to see what was going on and to help out. And I swear that lady was engaging me in a conversation mm -hmm. as I was walking towards her. How are you doing after what happened here on your street, in your neighborhood? Settling in to sleep, things like that, I thought I had a handle on it. But I woke up this morning and our things were just going over and over in my head that, you know, what had happened and what I should have done differently. Uh, why didn't I go hold that lady's hand? The reality of what happened is still with him. You, you don't know what it's like until you go through something like that. In Farmington, Stephanie Muniz, KWT Action 7 News.